Hello, and welcome to another test run of Cyclops Road. This time we're testing with four people. We're also testing in the heat with fans going and uh, microphones Hooray. and stuff. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? I am very warm. Yes. Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Ron? Are you equally warm? No. <laughs> All right. But I don't want to confess why, because I feel guilty. <laughs> Dan, what's... What would you say is your warmth level? Um, like empathetic, not <laughs> particularly sympathetic. And mm. I'm Tone, and I'm sweating mm. balls here. So uh, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Uh, this is my idea. The uh, we're just sort of to make a um, a creative, on the fly world building exercise as a channel. The game we're going to be playing is called Microscope. It's by Ben Robbins. You can buy a copy right there on the URL you see on your screen. It is a world-building game that builds itself as a role-playing game. There are some role-playing elements, but it's much, really, much more about uh, starting from scratch and building a world. We are going to be using Utgar's Chronicles to build it on, which is a web page that really makes this entire thing possible. And this is our panel. So we have currently started with we agreed at the big picture ahead of time. It was going to be superheroes in feudal Japan. And uh, we need to start a beginning and end period, according to the rules. Book ends of history. So what would you guys like for a start? Dan. So if, if we are doing feudal Japan, um, hooray for my college degree, um, <laughs> there is a big there's a defined beginning and a defined end of like basically what's considered feudal Japan. Like, Perfect. It began when um, when Nobunaga it united all the clans into what we know as Japan, mm -hmm. and it ended with like pretty much America showing up. Okay. Right. Uh, those sound okay. Go, go so. But we're doing, since we're doing a superhero version, maybe instead of America showing up and being an alien race, I like that. Uh, and then, what would be the the beginning point? Um, well, the I end mean, of the war. Using yeah. so, so, who 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 is the person that fuses all of Japan together? I'm, I'm thinking like a Doctor Doom type. I, Ooh, yeah, a super villain. Mm -hmm. That's kind of fun. Like the I, the Iron Ronin or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, appropriately. Okay, so got Dan, it. Uh, you took the lead on this, so go ahead. Actually, and... it would be the Iron. Sh it would be the Iron Shogun would actually probably be more. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, true. Accurate, but although I like the Iron Ronin, like there's story there. Hmm. Oh, we can have but both. Yeah, the Iron Ronin okay. became the Iron Shogun mm -hmm. after. Ooh, he, uh, okay, okay, oh, I dig wow. it. All right, Dan, would you like to do the honors of adding those periods together? Okay, let's see. Um, so do I put that in? There's oh, a loop by the period. Add period, yeah. Okay. So. Okay. One thing I wish that this website did was showed you tablets that were open on other people so you could see something happening there, but it's that's just for me. It's otherwise a great tool for playing this game. We'll just have to cooperate. Um, so it says tone, light, or dark. Okay, Is so that yeah. like... Ooh. It's something else we need to agree on. So is, that, um, is it generally a good thing, that period, or is it generally a miserable thing, like now? Um, it's considered kind of a... Like, I guess it's a goodish thing where mm -hmm. it's like that that period is i guess looked on fondly okay so I'd argue if, we're, if we're making a super villain shouldn't it be a dark period because the if it's a super villain the way he would have consolidated power would be a, mm -hmm. if it's a but if it's light isn't that interesting yeah if it's a step up even though he's a super villain like what came before was far worse i mean Latvarians love Doctor Doom. Yeah, exactly. So true. Uh, he, he, I, 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 I mean, it, it also would depend on like, are we doing like, are there, are there, um, are there alternate views of history? Like, if we, if we, if this is light, 
if, if this it, it could it be dark but considered light by um, by historians because that's the history that was recorded, or is it light and considered dark by just a certain amount of people who lost out historically? So there would be a, that would be a lot of information to put on a Nibnix card, which is how this game is normally played. Okay. So they, they, they try and yeah broad strokes with this. Um, I, I, I however, like the speculation though. To, to your question though, Ryan, you can have a period that is light, but all the events and scenes that happens inside it are dark. Okay. Um, all right, so should I put down Tone Light for the Iron Shogun Unites the Land? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I, then, I guess uh, the, the alien invasion should probably be dark then for some contrast. Yeah. But progression. Or it know? could be, well, yeah. Well, I, I, I think the inverse is also an interesting thing. Like, what if, if the Shogun uh, unification is dark and the alien invasion is actually light? Like, that implies certain things about the state of the world at that time and the intent of the aliens and, and things like that, you know, which I think are interesting as well. All right, and I'm going to put down the land is colonized by aliens. Okay. Uh, so those are viewing at home, you see the Iron Shogun unites the land card has been added. And then boom, there was the land is colonized by aliens. Excellent. All right. So, bookends of history, boom, boom, we got that. Now we're gonna go to palette. So the palette's that er uh, area in the middle, a little bit to the left. And these are the, the yeses and nos that we're gonna be adding to this element. So, um, uh, does anybody have something right at the front that they wanna add or restrict? And let me make, add one more thing. So, um, actually two more things. Immortals and time travel are off the board entirely for this game. Just for mechanical reasons, mm -hmm. uh, and I can get into that later. Oh. Um, when okay. you when you add something, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to show up. That's just part of the palette. But when you uh, restrict something, that there's, there's no workarounds for that. So if I say no vampires, you can't add a vampire that is functionally the same thing, right? Just by quilting around it. Um, okay. Okay. So, so superheroes already in, implies a lot of things, right? It's yeah. being permissible. But maybe, hmm. Yeah, maybe there should be some things that we don't have. Is it bad that I really want to see some like kaiju? <laughs> okay. So then it's not. I don't think that's implied by superheroes. <laughs> but I, I think it would be awesome to have in, in in like this feudal Japan, you know, thing. Like we got superheroes. Like let's. Okay, wrong. Maybe, we're gonna you know, we're gonna have add that for you. Antagonist. Oh, thank you. A, a, how do you spell kaiju again? K A I? K A I J U. J U. Boom. Kaiju are on the list. I, Yay! Thank I, you. There's I, no one here who's going to veto kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> um, since we don't have a table and since Ron's not on the web app, I'm just going to put Ron in the first space. And instead of around the table, we're just going to work our way down the list and then come back up to the top. Uh, let's see. So, what's something I don't want to see? Um, Something I do want Milking to see. Dragons. Um, don't want. I. Hmm. Should I, I'm going to add uh, uh, let's see. Mortal spirit hybrids. And that's a yes. Mm hmm. And I want to check spelling on that. Boom. Okay. Case goes in. So mortal spirit hybrid. So like a fox man. Uh, oh, okay. A, a tree man, etc. I've just been watching a lot of uh, Korra, so <laughs> that was in my mm. head. All right, Dan, your turn. Cool. Oh. Um, yeah, actually, um, can't, I, I did set the period and all that i was going to see if ryan wanted to go or are you going in a particular yeah yeah he's ryan, going in an order ryan was the first person to come up with an idea with the kaiju and then i'm um, using that no, no. list oh. that list no, ron, i'm sorry ron ron, did the kaiju, ron. yeah ron. you're right ron um so then uh, it's your then turn it was me then it was you and then it'll go to ryan okay all right um let's see something something i don't 
want to see um, who uh, do or don't I guess like um, don't I guess like one of my I, I know immortals are sort of already off the table mm -hmm. but um, I guess like does that like also kind of apply to like comic book time this is going to be kind of a short era anyway. Um, okay, so the reason Immortals are off the table is because they tend to be a male in the continuity. Because mm -hmm. you can't take them off the table again, right? So okay. if you want an Immortal, have him be a very long-lived individual, but he still can die. Okay. Um, I guess for no, um, I would say like, Angels and Devils. Okay. Okay. Or so, angel so yeah, like, uh, like spirits that are strictly good and strictly evil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and add that item. Okay. Ryan, what are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking Lost Technology. Okay. As a yes or a no? As a yes. You can go ahead and start adding that, I believe, as he's adding. It's got to be a reason everyone's a superhero, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I said, immortals are there because they, they tend to tie things down uh, on the prohibited list. Time travel's on the prohibited list because we can, as players, jump around in time on this timeline. If a character can also jump around in time on a timeline, then things become entirely like spaghetti. Can we add that to the palette just so we, it's uh, we remember. documented? Yep. Yeah. All right, Ron, your turn again. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's hard to think of something I'm very much against or, <laughs> or for in this case. I mean, except for the kaiju, which you know, yeah, obviously that was a given. Yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta have those. Um, I'm trying to think, like, no to certain technologies, maybe, or but then lost tech is a is a yes, right? So I don't want to I don't want to interfere with that because like lost tech could imply possibly incidents where advanced tech turns the tide of battle or something, right? I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, it's 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 fairly loose. I mean, that could be anything from this is a this is a, a neo barb colony to uh, this the planet was inhabited by, you know, your standard uh, advanced um, Assassin's Creed aliens beforehand. Yeah, it's just, yeah. You know, there's tech, there's there's stuff out there's there's glowing blue chests that look like magic. It's not <laughs> <laughs> like that. Um. Is it weird to say like no, no magic? Like superheroes, yes. Individuals that can do extraordinary things, yes. But like, there's no like blanket. You know, work my will in the universe with a few words, magic not, sort of stuff. Not weird at all. I would, I would, yeah. I would definitely be in favor of that. So, uh, no. Okay. Well, how about we say no spells because we already have spirits. Hmm. That works. Not yeah. Magic. Okay. Yeah. So no. Well, no mat. No magic would Im imply that there is a there's a rational explanation to everything, even if the play, even if the world doesn't know about it. Right. And I don't want to go there. You're right. Yeah. But but I don't want like yeah, just arbitrary like fireballs because the person learned how to how to how to make a fireball rather than they're a fire spirit that has the ability to you know mm -hmm. do these things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's my turn. I'm going to add something that bugs me in superheroes is resurrections. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no resurrections. Man. Shadowrun rules going on here. <laughs> so if, 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 if Super Ronin dies, they stay dead. Yeah. I mean, resurrection's dishonorable. It absolutely <laughs> makes sense. Hmm. Dan, you got something for the palette? 
All right. Um, let's see. I was uh, I, actually that magical spell thing was what was in my brain. Uh, oh. So, uh, I guess um, let's see. One of the things that I would not like to see. Well, maybe I should think of something I would like to see. Um, I guess. Um, uh, we're, we're going to go into Japanese history nerd for a second. Um, the the indigenous peoples that are um, you know that are oppressed because like every great society has one. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. They have the Ainu who live on the island mm-hmm. of Hokkaido, and um, I guess I would like to see maybe. Um, Equality between indigenous and colonized people. Natural uh, or, yeah. or or fought for? Possibly fought for. Um, okay. I mean, that, that might be a little high concept, but that was the first thing that came to mind. Yeah. Okay, so it sounds like you just don't want to get into racial or society tensions on the island. I mean, they're not there. Just that, you know, maybe the the I the I. What I'm hearing is that maybe the the I knew, you know, won whatever struggle was okay was fought. Does that yeah. make sense? That like they became integrated into, uh, or that like I shouldn't say that they became integrated. I should say that like society gave them a voice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. But how how do we phrase that for a palette? Social okay. indigenous um, so, in, in, indi- indigenous heroes. Indigenous equality. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and add that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. A semi-autonomous state. Oh, a two-state solution, really. <laughs> It's a semi-autonomous state. Um, (laughs) Ryan, you're going to be up next. What do you got? So prior to this recording, uh, I was mocked roundly for believing in lizard people. I I truly don't. (laughs) Um, But it feels like, because of where we're going, uh, alien infiltrators or alien infiltration Mm. um, is a... Ooh. Mm. All right. Here's to be a thing that might be cool. All right. Ron, do you have anything? Hmm. Alien Perpetrators is great. Um, it, I mean, along the lines of the indigenous equality, is it weird to 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 call out gender equality as a as a as a yes please like? Hmm. I, I, I know it's it's not strictly like it's not necessarily forbidden or or implied even either way when it comes to like superheroes in feudal Japan. But I think if we're going to go full, quote unquote, Japan, um, let's sort of liberate our minds a bit when it comes to the situations and characters that we might normally think of or have. Okay. So Which you want to add, put add it on gender there. equality simply. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You don't have a control, so I'll maybe that. maybe the Iron Shogun is a woman. Ooh. And I'm always going to check my spelling. And it's taking a second to hang on there. Did I? I hit save. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to add. Uh, I was oh, saying, because no, uh, I got a warning that my internet qual- uh, connection's unstable. I should have put the Ethernet in, but uh, it's already started, so here we go. Uh, rival nations. Hmm. On um, migrating islands. Migrating islands. Okay. So the islands move or the nations move to different the, islands? The nations are on the islands which move. So oh. it's like, oh no, okay. the, the ex society people on that island are going to come by again for another pass. 
Ooh, that adds okay. like a ticking clock sort of thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. Rival nations on the backs of giant kaiju. I was thinking actually giant turtles. Yes! <laughs> can, I, can I edit? Yeah, I can. Okay. On the backs. <laughs> that kind of adds an end of the world flavor to it, right? Like if the kaiju, like like you don't know you're living on a, on a giant monster mm-hmm. and then you're living in a giant monster. Uh, <laughs> who, who are the aliens that invaded? There's a lot of questions about that. All right, Dan, what do you got? Well, I was going to say that, um, yes, there are aliens, but they're not lizard people. But... <laughs> it, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> no Aww. lizard people. But we just, just poke if we have Aww. giant, tur- if we have giant turtles and we have kaiju, uh, <laughs> lizard people seem, uh, almost, uh, quaint. Quaint, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, oh, oh man. Um, so let me, uh, while see. Dan's thinking, let me go on and say, we continue to do this until somebody takes a pass. And then that means they're just, they feel like the palette is full. And then we finish up that round until we get to that, uh, do one more round to get to everybody. And then we're done with the palette. Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going to. Can I say no power armor? Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't want to discount giant robots, but I do want you, you to. You don't discount want full metal armor. alchemist. Right. Or like, um, yeah. Not not Iron Man, more, mm-hmm. uh, and I guess that kind of also um, that kind of also disqualifies my beloved Rangers. But you know, we're trying to grow here. So. <laughs> All right. All right, Brian. Trying to, the, I, I'm trying to think of, because I keep having yes things I want to think about, but also there's um, the no list needs to be longer. Um, so we have no resurrections. I'm gonna, I, I'm, all that are past. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and complete the shadow run uh, no list by adding uh, no teleportation. Okay. Either short or long. <laughs> so no bamf bamf and no like uh, stepping on a pad oh, you put that in the yes column yes. oh well can somebody fix that for me yeah. um, yes I mean no <laughs> <laughs> alright All right. wrong it's up done. to you and again I'm, I'm conflicted um since I can't see how long the lists are, I have to go with the sense I have in my head. The sense I have in my head is that we have a pretty complete list of things to emphasize or de-emphasize. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to like. Or if I can play on something else like the um, the Wayward Islands. Tribal nations. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pass. Actually. Okay. I'm feeling so pretty this, good. This is our last pass. I'm also gonna pass. Oof. So Dan and Ryan, you have one submission each to the palette if you care for it. Um. Can I codify that? Yes, giant robots. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Uh, but you want to get more yes, specific than that, maybe? Oh. Uh, what kind of giant robots? Yes, combining giant robots. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh.
music provided by an engine that's passing by. He is also in favor of giant robots. <laughs> so. All right. All right, and Ryan, you got anything? I have two competing ideas, and I might, I'll throw this to the to the group to see what might be more palatable. Um, one is industrialization, um, or an, otherwise an age of invention, where uh, society is going from where society goes from the period the, end, the beginning and the end to not an advanced society, but but a technologically a technologically advancing society. Mm. Um, the other is. Uh, um, uh, for uh, mysterious foreign nations, um, so like it, it is known that there are that, that there are travelers from other places um, that are so distant as to not it's to not be accessible with current technology. Um, those places are mysterious and um, otherwise uh, unknowable. So it kind of adds a, a level of mystery and a level of um, kind of different things can be possible with with, with the faraway places. Uh, but that kind of depends on how if we're having a, a, a planet being colonized by aliens, how big do we want our planet to be? Do we want it to be large enough to where there are other nations that are going to be involved in that? Or do we want it to be just the kind of immediate world we're aware of? Well, well I'm, I'm kind of wondering, we've already got alien infiltration. Right. Um, so, how is what you're saying different than that? So, alien infiltration, I was thinking, is more like lizard people. It's, it's people are, are getting replaced. Okay. Um, there's so, secret agents. There, there's, 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 there's mysterious secret agents um, uh, plotting some, uh, some un to, to some unknowable end. Okay. And then, so just uh, like a juncture for mysterious travelers. Um, Dan, go I ahead. think I understand what he's saying. Just so I make, so are you saying that you want kind of like when you say like mysterious lands and stuff like that? Are you talking about like, you know how like, you know there's like a, the deepest darkest part of the black forest, or there's like the shadowlands, or you know some sort of, um, you know just some sort of like land of mystery where like the light does not touch that place you must never go there type thing i more mean that like europe's out there somewhere but you don't know about it but sometimes you might catch an errant ship or a shipwreck sailor um okay. loaded on in uh so you don't know much about this you, you know that there's some faraway land from the stories your ancestors told uh, which might fit into the lost technology but it's 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 an area that is that it, that can be discovered, but is unknown. Just uh, so like I mean, Japan, like, it's like a sealed island, essentially. It, uh, I imagine there's limits to yeah. There's there's the based on distance and and the currents and and wind uh, wind direction. Um, this this particular area of the planet uh, cannot find its way to other areas. It's kind of stuck to it. It's a large enough landmass, but there are other areas that might meet them or they might meet the other ones. So, I mean, that's one, but then again, we're also talking, we already have a whole lot of stuff oh. going on. So this, I, the, 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 this sounds like what if, what if um, the North and South American continents were never encountered by Europeans, Europeans or Asians or Africans, yeah. basically. So like undiscovered new worlds, maybe. I, I, I'm not sure if you mean. I mean, I'm leaving. It could be undiscovered new worlds. It could just be that there's there's another place that that um, people can come from, or that strange cultures can come from. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the uh, just strange exotic new lands. Um, but like I said, it, it depends to, if you want to focus more insular or external, because that's a much that's a very external focus that will likely involve a lot of. If we do end up doing a lot of that, might involve diplomacy, et cetera. An internal focus would be industrialization or the age of invention. Mm -hmm. So it depends on how. I, mean, I guess I guess that's the question: Do we want to do we want to have a, another external focus, or do we want to have an internal focus? I mean, if I, I feel like it should be like personally, uh, you know, if it's Japan, like the whole point of Japan was that it was just like 
own place. It's sealed okay. off from most of the world until, um, like, with the occasional Dutch trader coming through. I right. Mean, uh, That's what I'm talking about, the occasional Dutch trader. Oh, uh, so. How about we just add that? The, the occasional foreign trader. <laughs> Or or Dutch in. Uh, well, let's just call it foreign for now. Okay. I, I like how we have Japan in quotes, so Dutch is not <laughs> occasional um, foreign traveler. I'll say. Um. Oh, somebody's got that for me. Okay. All right, and that was that. Okay, so. Congratulations, we are almost done with game setup. Now we're gonna do a first pass. This is where everybody takes a turn adding either a period or an event. So again, Ron, you're first. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna steal from Ryan and add uh, a, an age of invention period in between the our two bookends. Okay, Ooh. so you can either click that button that says add period or if you hover between nope. the two, a plus symbol shows nope. up. Nope. Oh, nope, that's right. I can't. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. Mm. Okay, so what was it called nope. again? I am restricted. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, what? What was what would you kind of call your period again? Age of invention. Age of invention. So a, a, a distinct period have to come from where, <laughs> where 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 invention happens, and you know that. Uh, j just to point out, because it's a distinct period, like there could be you know a collapse or a loss of that later on, right? That doesn't okay. necessarily imply that it's there the whole time. Okay. Uh, do you want that to be light or dark? Uh, that's light. Okay. Yeah, I'm too much of an engineer to say that that's dark. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm next, so let's see. But not a Tolkien fan, apparently. <laughs> yes, those things are not incompatible. Go ahead and talk about talk amongst yourselves while I think of something. <laughs> Hashtag Saruman well, got a bad rap. <laughs> <laughs> talk about stuff Hashtag that won't Saruman get us banned. Was right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and silence. And silence. <laughs> We're recorded. Come on. <laughs> Oh, I think this is shaping uh, up to be cool. Yeah, I like the I, li I like the palette. Sorry for stealing your idea, Ryan, but also thank you. Oh no, no, definitely. This is a this is a land of this is I steal away. This is this is a collaborative effort. Oh. Teamwork makes the dream work. Juncture of the Great Turtle. Uh, juncture of the Great Turtles swarms the eastern coast. Wait, what? That's a period. What happened? Uh, oh, I thought, sure. I, thought was, I thought that. Sorry, I thought that was a 2020 headline. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> why? why? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so, no, um, no. You know what? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm calling it. <laughs> So between I mean, the Pacific Rim takes place next year. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after the Shogun unites the land, I added Juncture of the Great Turtles swarms the Eastern Coast. So Eastern Coast just has problems with turtle uh, pirates. All right. And was that a period event? That's a period, uh, and it's dark. Okay. All right. That makes Damn. sense. Oh, um, I, w I was going to say that uh, uh, a little, uh, like, a young Japanese boy playing a blade of grass can, like, control said turtles, but... <laughs> uh, I mean, that could come up at some point. <laughs> well, no, uh, no, that's, like, was it, wasn't that, like, what Gamera did? Or, uh, like, Gamera had a thing for kids, and I, rem I don't remember specifically yeah. what it was. I remember the Green uh, Ranger, man, I don't know. Um, all right. Um, I did, so, let's see, there's been a few periods, so I think I am going to throw in an event. All right. Um, and I'm going to say that, um, right 
before the land is colonized by aliens, mm -hmm. there's an assassination attempt on the Iron Shogun. Okay. Actually, I'm going to say that there is an assassination attempt on the current Iron Shogun. Right. Mm -hmm. Good point. That the Iron Shogun is a uh, that the Iron Shogun is a title. Um, Good call. And I'm going to say it's dark. So. Oh, well, is it an event or is it a period? I meant for that to be a uh, event. Okay, so I don't think you can transform one, so you're gonna just have to delete that one and create a new one. Okay, let's see. Here. Is that an event under the land is colonized by aliens, or is that an event under the age of adventure? Yeah, I was gonna say I think events have to be in a period. So if you don't have a period that covers your event, you have to either you have to make one. Mm -hmm. Well, but that, I mean, I could see that event as being part of land colonized by aliens if mm. that's something that. Right. The aliens did. Right. Or the alien infiltrators did, maybe. Alien infiltrators sure. try to assassinate the current Iron Shogun. Or the iron, current Iron Shogun is an alien infiltrator. And. <laughs> Whoa! <there's... laughs> mm. All right. We have, to, we have to play that out. All right. All right. Excellent. We have our first event assassination attempt on the current Iron Shogun. Excellent. Thank you. All right, Ryan, add a period or an, an event. So I'm thinking prior to the age of invention, there has to, because that's a light age. We have a dark age prior to it. I don't want to add too many periods when an event might do. I'm thinking something along the lines of there should be a, a collapse or a secession crisis or something that, uh, that almost destroys the empire, basically, um, through <laughs> because of... Uh, dynastic struggles or just uh, the general pressure of the, the juncture of the great turtle swarms of the eastern coast. Um, but you know what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to call it the... Uh, um, I'm going to add an event uh, under the juncture of the great turtle swarm of the eastern coast. Um, the... Uh, the um, the federation or uh, the not federation the turtle the turtle I don't know, this this sounds more ridiculous than it is the turtle no, no, union no, no. the turtle union is formed against um, I'm sorry <clears throat> the great turtle against, alliance the yeah the, mm -hmm. the great the the grand turtle, turtle, turtle the great the the the, the great testudo. Uh, the Great Testudo Union is formed, um, is formed and uh, is formed as an adversary um, to the uh, to the Iron Shogunate. Right. Well. How do you spell Shogunate again? Somebody help me here. S H O G U N A T. Thank you very much. All right, so there we go. That was the game setup, uh, and now we go into actual like overvote play. So we have to pick somebody who's the first lens. Does anyone want to involve uh, volunteer, or should I do it just because I played this game more than other people? Don't. <laughs> All right. Don't you do it? All right. So. What's that? I said I'll defer to you. OK. All right, so the lens decides the current focus. All right, so picking from the elements that are here, uh, let's see. I am going to decide to focus on lost technologies. Hmm. So, uh, for this round, everything that we introduce has to relate to lost technologies in some way until we get through the next round. Uh, so, 
Each player takes a turn, it makes either period, event, scene, starting with the lens above on the table. So this is an exception. The lens is allowed to make two nested things, um, either an event with a, uh, a period with an event inside it or an event with a scene inside it. So uh, let's see. I'm going to add an event that will create uh, six fingered hand is discovered and it still operates. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show everybody at home how terrible a speller I am. There we go. Especially since I put a two in there at the end of that word. Okay. Uh, all right, so there we go. Uh, inside the Age of Invention, invention that Age of Invention, this great six-fingered hand is discovered and it still operates. I'm implying that it's a mechanical thing. Hmm. Cool, okay. Uh, and let's see. Uh, it's too, too early. I don't want to get into scenes quite yet, so I'm just going to leave that there. And then we, since I was the lens, since I'm the lens, Dan goes next. Okay. Um, so we're focusing on lost technology. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, I am going to. I'm going to add an event under the Iron Shogun, and uh, I'm going to introduce the um, the ceremonial sword of sunlight, which is basically the lightsaber that he uses to. Okay. Well, I uh, thoughts exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what about uh, it? Um, I'm, I'm saying that, like, that technology, um, that, like, his, like, weapon, it doesn't necessarily have to be a lightsaber, but, um, but that he does have, like, a highly advanced sword that okay. is what helps him, like, sort of, what gives him, like, that, um, you yeah, know, that, the, like... The regal authority to... Also, the like and firepower busy. superiority. Okay. You know. Is is that how he's introduced? Is that what makes that or not here? But is that what makes them the Iron Shogun? Yes, and then it becomes kind of ceremonial down the line, or at least cool. that's where my head's at. <laughs> Maybe I'll just call it. Um, I'll, I'll call it like the unbreakable sword <laughs> of the Iron Shogun. Or actually, let me. I'll just say the Iron Shogun finds the unbreakable sword. Okay. And we'll go from there. Yeah. Uh, so you can have him find the um, uh, the the sword, or defeats X to claim the the sword. Which gives us a little bit more to work with moving forward. What about just simply claims the unbreakable sword, and then that gives us but, right, right. But there's what, a lot. I'm just saying the circumstances that the sword was under gives us a little bit more to work with going forward. Well, part of me kind of want to make, uh, kind of wants to make that a little ambiguous because That's fine. it is Both possible valid. that, like, you know, what the un like. The, the official story is that he found the Unbreakable Sword. Oh, okay. He might have stolen it from someone else. Mm -hmm. He might have been like... Um, he might... Uh, you know, he might have like killed his brother mm -hmm. who found it. Like, you know, maybe that's something that'll come up later. But Alright. Um, Alright, Ryan. Um, what do you want to add? 
Can I add a scene under the great the Unionist forms adversary Iron Shogunate? Um, the uh, the um, where the the uh, the Union is the the Union uses um, uh, ancient uh, ancient communication diases um, to coordinate uh, otherwise the otherwise uncoordinatable. That's what allows them. First of all, the turtles are meeting. Second of all, that's what allows them to cooperate when they've never been able to cooperate before. Okay. Is they uh, they uh, locate um, lost communication devices. Okay. Um, so oh. the scene is where the role playing happens. Um. Okay. okay. So when um, you propose a scene, you you start with a question that you want answered in this scene. So what is that question? Um. How did the union? form or how did the union uh form now when cooperation uh was uh was impossible in the past okay and then where does the scene take place and who's involved uh the uh so we're, i mean What's the the shogun is is the head warlord? What are the levels below? What's the level below the shogun? Uh, I'm yelling. Um, yeah, I think honestly, I can Diamond. never remember shogun daimyo placement. I believe daimyos are under shoguns. But so I'm, I'm, my my yeah. impression is is that that these these turtle nations would be headed by if we had to consider their level, it's going to be like a grand dynamo or whatever. Um, Japanese but you could just say generals and colonels. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I want. Yeah. Okay. But then that's not. That's not. Yeah. Um, well, it's also Japan. So. <laughs> yeah. we'll, uh, uh, ultimately, the, the the Grand Dynamo uh, of D A I M Y M Y O. Yeah, I had to look it up. It's been a while since I played uh, um, that Sid Meier game. I can't remember what it's called. A sort of the samurai, um, a grand dynamo of. Somebody come up with a name for a turtle. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I can only think of two, and you don't want those. Well, 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 pardon. I, I, I want to the slow one. Um, what is what is Japanese? What is the Japanese translation for slow one? I guess would be the. Uh, <laughs> um, we, we we can't get too hung up on that, or else it's gonna take forever. I'll just add that in little brackets, and we can figure that out later. The Grand Dynamo of the slow one um, is is uh, um, is met by a um, an ambitious. Uh, of an ambitious sage or scientist or um sage is good an ambitious lower level because we're not in the age of uh, invention yet so yeah. sages which is low level come scientist later well the difference in say scholar yeah <laughs> an ambitious young scholar um who views of a grand invention of a grand uh, device I'm typing it. Okay. So when he's done typing, he's going to dictate uh, who's going to play what character in the scene, or he can just determine how it ends. 
So it, it's possible to circumvent role playing game altogether. Okay, the grand dam of the slow one is met with an, by an ambitious young scholar who has news of a grand device present on each one of the turtle uh, each of the turtle lands brought to this uh, brought to the seat of power. The Diamo is amazed to discover the miraculous ability to communicate with those distant powers. Um, Could you go ahead and save that one so I can show it? Uh, yeah. Do I have an answer or do I wait for that? We can edit it later. Um, I just need something to call up when we're talking about it. Uh, tone lighter dark, lighter dark. Oh, that's that's um, determined through role play. Oh, okay. So uh, I accidentally clicked it, um, and I can't unclick it. That's uh, fine. Okay. Cool. All right. I just want to be able to open it up. Okay. How did the union form, and when cooperation possible? Okay. So character-wise, we have the Grand Daimo, uh, an ambitious young scholar. Let me expand this a bit. There we go. All right, so that's two characters right off the bat. Who should play those, Ryan? Oh, um, let's see here. Uh, Dan will play the Dynamo and okay. the Grand Dynamo, and uh, sorry, I'm trying to think here. Uh, Ron will play the Scholar. Okay, uh, Ron, go ahead and come up with a name for that guy. Uh, is there any other characters that you want in the scene? Now, uh, um, one good. other character that can be in any scene is time. Somebody can play time. So if there's some sort of ticking clock in the scene, like an angry mob outside the door, somebody gets to decide to be that. I don't think this is the... Okay. Um, for generating names, there is fake name generator. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, because I don't, I don't know a lot of um, random Japanese names. Mm -hmm. So it might, I'm going to post the link in the... Uh, in the you. chat um so go ahead good luck um <laughs> uh do you have any the only other characters i can think of would be um the voices on the other end um but they're not as important as the as the discovery of this device okay uh, so tone you can play the voices on the other end okay i'll be the, the i'll be crowd reactions uh, you, you're the you're, you're the you're you're the surprise you will be the surprised um, the surprised voice on the other end of this here to here to unknown communications device. Oh, okay. So there's also like a, a oh, okay, gotcha. So yeah. it's the communication device that is is kind of key to all this, right? Right. Okay. That's the lost technology. Okay. So. Grandimo has one, and Scholar is on the other is on the other end of it. Uh, no, the Scholar brings the Grand Grandimo oh, to the device okay. that he's discovered uh -huh. um, through his research. Um, the Grand Grandimo uh, is finds this device to be miraculous when he activates it and okay. talks to somebody rather surprised on the other end. Okay, uh, how do you guys feel about it? you got enough to work with? I think so. All right, Ron. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, yeah. Bring those improv chops. All right. And <laughs> hit it. Who are you? And what brings no. <laughs> The diamond was the slow one. <laughs> the oh, no. <laughs> 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 well, he is now. That's not sustainable. <laughs> okay, no, go ahead. <laughs> what if that's just that, that's just part of the culture? <laughs> he has to, he has to talk that way. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I don't have a lot of time. Um, <clears throat> Ryan, give me a name of another one of the islands. Uh, the um, the hard one. 
or the 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 um not the hard one that that's that's easy to fuck with phrasing uh, yeah, phrasing. um the uh The protected one. Hmm. Okay. Great Daimyo. When you decided to split from the company of the protected one and forsook them forever, did you have any regrets? They know what they did. Would you be willing? to listen to them if they had something to say to you. I guess I would. Thank you. And because of this that you see before you, you would not have to compromise your honor by paying host to your sworn enemies. But they can still talk with you and perhaps make amends. And he, he goes and he turns the knobs and the dials and, and uh, you know, compresses the, the thing until the voice from the daimyo of the protected one comes through the speaker and maybe that's a third character that is perhaps played by Tom Hello, great rival Perhaps with this we could discuss strategies We all know who the real enemy is, this iron shogunate who's taken over our, our, our land of consumption where we raid. It's making things more difficult, isn't it? I like them less than I like you. Agreed. And with this device, we can coordinate attacks all across their lands. What say you? For now, we set aside our grudge, <laughs> and we focus on the Iron Shogun. <laughs> Alright. I think that's a good scene. I think we came up with an answer. So go ahead and uh, Ryan fill in the answer then. They, the, with the technology, they were able to coordinate attacks. about the size of a good scene. You, know, you, you just got a question to answer, move on. I'm imagining this like uh, like one of those old Alexander Graham Bell phones. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, operator. Operator, give me four, five, six, five, one. Ahoy, ahoy. <laughs> yes. I'm going to go ahead and call that dark because that sounds like it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a much darker scene than a. Right. They're they're not using it for for um, for their people. They're using it for destruction. So yeah. I'm gonna call that dark. All right. All right, and now we're back up to Ron. Oh, uh, wait. Yes, yeah, we are. We are to Ron. Okay. Um, I want to add a um, an event inside the Age of Invention. All right. Um below the previous one, so like after the six-fingered hand is discovered and, and found attacked. Um, this event is the um, new warship, new new metal warship, uh, the Unbreakable Sword, is lost with all hands on its maiden voyage. Or maybe hmm, a little bit better. Maybe that should be vanishes mysteriously and is assumed lost on this maiden voyage. Right. That's a little better. Yeah. 
I spelled worship completely wrong, so let me fix that. And I should mysteriously on it. Does that, what's the lost technology there? Oh, good point. I thought the unbreakable sword was it's, it's the, the well, well, well oh, the worship new... is named the unbreakable sword sorry mm -hmm. um but the, the worship itself it's, it's an iron metal worship so it's a it's a, it's mm -hmm. powered by lost technology okay uh okay so let's not call it new necessarily but powered by okay powered by what mm. nuclear power worship no um hmm. i mean it, it, it could be a uh, uh, just put in phlebotanum and, uh, <laughs> and and change it later yeah man-made elements are certainly lost technology how about inertia drive the sure. drive uh, the yeah A recovered inertia drive. I say so. Powered by a recovered inertia drive, the warship, the unbreakable sword, mysteriously vanishes on its maiden voyage. Sound good? Yeah. Light or dark? <laughs> dark. <laughs> Just gotta be sure. I'm always gonna ask. Light. Da 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 da. da. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's dark. <laughs> so I think we we might have established kind of like that the the Iron Shogun and the Unbreakable Sword have this like kind of like eternal champion quality to them. <laughs> that is a, yeah, that's a very if you name your if you name yes. your ship the Unbreakable yes. Sword and it gets <laughs> lost, that is uh that is a blow. <laughs> yes. All Possibly right. leading to the next period. So, uh, I am still the focus for one last action, and I get again to, to do two nested things if I want to. So, uh, let's see. Um, look at the aliens. Oh, okay. Let me add a period right here. It comes after the turtle swarms. Um, actually, I'm just going to add an event. Uh, after the uh, raiders are defeated, mm. they're giant turtles are uh, enslaved. Yeah. Oh. Slaves? That feels very... Ouch. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. By the Iron Shogun. Damn. Current Iron Shogun's a jerk. I guess we subscribe to great man theory here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, Again, we have the opportunity for, for the society to grow in the yeah. age of invention, I guess. So. Uh, sure. Or in the... Move this one down. And then that's in the right order. Okay. Okay. So now I am no longer the focus. The focus goes to Dan. Oh, okay. Right. What, I'm done. Uh, I retract that. Uh, there's one thing to do. It's the legacy. So we go back to the person before me who is Ron. Ron gets to pick a legacy. So anything that's on the board here that was introduced mm -hmm. in the last round, uh, you can choose to make a legacy and add an event or a scene or a period relating to that that does not necessarily have to add, can include lost technology. So, for example, the Grand Demo. You could you could pick him. He doesn't have anything to do with lost technologies, but you can add something relating to him. So whatever it is you thought that was interesting that that you would like to flesh out a little bit more, 
Mm -hmm. you, get to, you get to clear that a legacy and create an event based on it. I, uh, an event, or can I do a can I do a scene? Event period or scene. Event period or scene. Okay. Um, uh, let me just, no, not not period. Just an event or scene. Take that back. Okay. Um, but it can be related to the previous lens, the previous focus. It can, it's it can it's, be. it's it okay. Can, it doesn't, it doesn't have be, to be. It honestly okay. it could be the same thing if you just want I, more lost technologies. Yeah, because yeah. I'd like to flesh out the six fingered uh, hand thing a bit more, okay. but I'd also like to connect it to the previous period of the the turtle raid. So I'd like to have a scene where, um, uh, you know, someone from those great turtle islands, like uh, a former pilot pirate or um, a great le or a descendant of, of one of those leaders is the one that finds the, the six-fingered hand. Okay, so is the legacy going to be the six-fingered hand? I suppose so, yeah. Okay. All right. And then where do you want to put this scene? Uh, I, I want to put it so, so we have the event for like the six figure hand being found, right? So I want mm -hmm. to put it, and this scene is part of that event. So okay. part of that event. All right. So what's the question in this scene? Again? Um, what were the people that found the six fingered hand like after? Like what was their intent? Yeah. Were they after anything? Right. Yeah. Uh, Were they? I, I was actually, something occurred to me just now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what if the six-fingered hand is the name of the communication device that brings together? Uh, because it was discovered in a period that came after. Temporally doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. But I like it. I like. I like your your, your thinking there. Okay, so the question is, what were the people who found the six-fingered hand searching for? All right. Uh, so set the scene and the cast for the scene. Or you, now you can role play this out, uh, or you can just dictate it. No, I, I like to role play it out. I think it would be more fun, uh, especially since I don't have to do anything for it. <laughs> 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 that makes it so much better. Inflict role playing um, on other people. Yeah, so we, so we need we need three characters. Um, so we need we need a representative of the the current Iron Shogunate uh, regime. So we need um, let's say this was like a local expedition. So we need a scholar. We need someone who uh, is a representative of the the, uh, the local Shogunate. Um, you know, some some official, and then we need a, we need a guide. And the the guide is the person that I want to be like. Um, someone affiliated with the, the Turtle Pirates. I wonder if we have a, a separate name for them, for the Great Turtle People or the Raiders. The, the Pseudo right. Union. Yeah, so someone from the previous unit who's you know now been conquered, right, and the, the Turtles have been enslaved. Um, so we have we have the guide who is, who is uh, part of this, well, is descended from someone who was part of the Great Turtle Union. We have a representative of the local Shogunate, um, or the local daimyo, and then we have the uh, the archaeologist scholar that is actually searching for the thing, or not actually searching. They're all actually searching for, but the one who's actually who's only interested in knowledge. Maybe okay. at least they profess that. So a guide who's descended from the turtle raiders, a scholar from the Greek shogunate, and what was the other one? Uh, so, so like an, an, an official, so either a representative of the local lord or uh, someone from the um, whatever the, the daimyo is for the region that they in which they found it. A clerk from but some a local some clerk. imperial official. Hmm? Uh, a local imperial official. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking so, you know someone. Uh, so like you know you have you have brains in the scholar right, and then you have the sort of muscle uh, you know military person in the local official, and then you have uh, the uh, the local guy who is maybe more of a okay uh, yeah wildcard okay yes wildcard thank you <laughs> uh, and then do we uh, who do you want to play what and let them come up with names because that might be faster 
Sure. Um, let's see, Tone, I know you make a really good paladin, so let's have you be the military official. Okay. And uh, let's see, Ryan, you be wild card because you, you came up with that. And then Dan, that makes you the um, uh, scholar. Yeah. So names, who's the scholar's name? Um, let's see. The um, it translates to lightning mind. Okay, let's call it that. Ryan, what's your character's name? Using the fake name generator, it is Hironaguchi. Hmm. Hero. I'm just gonna spell that as I see it. It's okay. it's in the chat. It's in the chat. I can't open yeah. the chat or else everything breaks oh. on my. Uh, N is in November. Oh, no. O is, <laughs> N is in November. O is in Ocean. G is in George. U is in Union. C is in Charles. H is in Henry. I is in Ivan. Okay, I got kind of close. Uh, and then my character is just named Moho. I'll okay. go ahead and save it so that you guys can use it as a reference and then call it up again as an edit. Okay. All right. So. Let's see. So I am leading Lightning Mind. Oh, I'm along with Lightning Mind providing protection while the guide takes us where? I, um, a survey, maybe we're just doing a, a, just a simple survey of the population, a census. Um, let's see. People found the 16 year hand searching for, um, they're digging in the wrong place. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll say that, uh, you know, we... I'll say that, like, we were trying to install a communication system that was based on the liberated communication system that the turtles were... Nice. Um, that the turtles were using to coordinate. And, uh, and I guess, uh, let's see. You're, so you said that you're a local imperial official. I can't, can't remember. Does that mean that you're with the turtles or you're with the, I'm with uh, the shogunate. Okay. Um, basically, I'm the, you know, I'm like the sort of like big picture person. Like, this is the fight between like the contractor <laughs> and the like assessor, or like the, uh, the people who like, you know, Enforce building codes. All right. <laughs> All right. So set it us up. Where are we? Um, we are. Um, we're we're like uh, off the shore of the west coast, and we're um, you know we're trying to lay down. Uh, we're trying to lay down cables. Um, I'll say that lightning mind is like talking at about a million miles a minute and like pointing. Uh, you know, no, 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 put that there, no, there, and, uh... <laughs> it's stuck. It's not... I can't move it, it's stuck. It... You! Ni Hero! That's, that's the name, Me? right? <laughs> Get, help him! Uh, oh, well, it's, it's different, the, the, the currents here don't work like that, it, it's... Okay, okay, um... <sighs> Please, my lord, excuse me. Um, if you if you just push that uh, in that direction, um, it should. What direction? Wait, wait, wait. I've got no, a no. Single cable here. I'm, there's no direction. What left? <laughs> don't don't step that way. Don't step that way. Uh, it falls over into the water. Yeah, into a hole. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're you're falling into an underwater cave. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Should... Um. Uh, the 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 imperial the imperial guard he he fell fell into that oh. hole. Didn't account for that. <laughs> um, 
But I'm, wait, are you okay? I'm swimming down. I figure I'm down here. I might as well try and get it uncovered anyway. It's hooked on something like a rock or something. And I just find it wrapped around a big thumb. That seemed like a good scene? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Actually, let me put a button on that. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, was discovered... By essentially telephone installation crew. I mean, it, it could be a hub for all those communication systems prior to the, you know, only one communication at a time, but we found the six fingered hand, which is a, which is a grand hub, which vastly improves the ability of um, the different lands of the Shogunate to communicate. So that sounds like a light thing? Yeah. Alright. Boom. Alright, I've lost track. Whose was that? That was that Ryan's. Was the That's legacy. Lens. Yes, I'm sorry. Or it was the, Ron. Not the, the, but the legacy. Okay. Or legacy new lens. Okay, so Daniel, you are now the new lens. You get to define the new. All lens. right. All right. Obviously, we're doing giant robots. <laughs> giant robots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now you get to establish a period, an event, a scene, and if you want another of such inside nested inside the other, really into giant robots. Okay. Uh, I am going to introduce um, over the crowd. <laughs> We're waiting for his next move. Alright, so I'm going to add a period between the turtles and the age of uh, the age of enlightenment um, by saying that the third iron shogun mm. defeats the Obsidian Wall. Oh. By uh, with his new mech, <laughs> the Unbreakable Sword. <laughs> Is it a period or an event? This would be a period. Okay, so. Or maybe Basically, I'll, uh, if, I, if it's, oh, go ahead. You, you could have it as a period and then like, we can, the events would be the consequences of that action immediately. Okay. It, it, it could be an event under the, the juncture though, as well. Um, um, hmm. Actually, maybe I'll say, maybe I'll just like broaden it as, um, just broaden it by just saying then the Iron Shogun defeats the Obsidian Wall. Okay. Hmm. Um, and uh, I'll say the Iron Shogun defeats the Obsidian Wall using his new mech the Unbreakable Sword. And I'll you're, say that you're that setting is a those. pretty light 
you're setting this after the turtles before the age of invention right okay okay all right now do you want to do an event inside that um you know what uh i might right let's see Um, real quick, did we name the uh, ambitious young scholar? Wait, from which scene? Oh, from uh, oh no, no, we didn't. Oh, we, we might not have. We can pick one though. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I or kind of one? want. I kind of want to make him the grandfather, or possibly the like an ancestor of Lightning Mind. Oh, okay. Uh, so. Well, let's just call him that Grand, sounds cool. uh, Ancestor of Lightning Mind. Okay, let's see. Um, Thunder Mind. Just, just because uh, that makes it clear. Spark. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's maybe it's just Sparkling Mind. You know, it's just building up <laughs> to the lightning later on. <laughs> Alright, so there's really no provision for like editing stuff after it's been done, but. We'll just go ahead and do that right now. Actually, I don't know if this would be an event or a scene, but... Um, Basically, what I had in mind is the Obsidian Wall kidnaps Lightning Mind's ancestor to discover a weakness for the Unbreakable Sword. No, that can be either. Hmm. The big difference is like how how it plays out and uh, if how it ends is ambiguous or not. So you can actually then later on put a scene underneath that if you have a specific question about it. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Alright. Alright. So Jim Wall kidnaps Lightning Mind's ancestor, discover a weakness for the unbreakable sword. Perfect. Alright. Uh, Ryan. I'm gonna do a scene beneath the Iron Shogun finds the unbreakable sword. The question is, um how did the uh how did the Iron Shogun um up, uh, come across or uh, come to possess uh, his um, okay. his um, that unique um, signature uh, the scene a a young soldier uh, a young uh, soldier of one of the warring clans of little repute um finds uh, finds an ancient uh, hanger um, while cert while uh, while searching for uh, while foraging for food in the countryside mm -hmm. or for, well foraging for for um, for sake in the countryside <laughs> he, he's he's okay. not a uh, he's not a good guy um <laughs> Because you drink sake, is that it? Uh, well, he's not. He's a soldier, and he's out looking for booze. Gotcha. Uh, That's so he's. Fair. This is. It, it's from humble beginnings. Um, mm -hmm. He finds a uh, a device um, akin a, a device akin to a sword, um, piercing or uh, um, holding at bay. 
a large uh, a creature uh, of immense size. Um, and the kind of concept here is he, he takes that sword, it's going to lead uh, to the third age when the unbreakable wall comes up. He is he is stealing, he is uh, taking for himself, the kind of concept he's taking for himself power um, and ignoring the consequences that will occur a generation to them in line. Um, okay. the, char- the characters are going to be the, the young soldier, uh, the, future Iron, the future first Iron Shogun, uh, and, the, uh, and the Obsidian Wall, or the unknown, the unknown creature, soon to be known as the Obsidian Wall. Uh, yes, Dan. You're muted, Dan. Yeah, I didn't hear that. You're muted. Oh, um, what does this have to do with giant robots? The Obsidian Wall is a giant robot. Oh, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> That's what is. I'm saying. The, the sword is in some way binding the obsidian wall, a giant robot. Um, and that will lead to the third age. Um, so uh, as far as the Iron Shogun and the robots. Um, Ron, you play the Iron Shogun. Um, Tone, uh, you play the robot. Acknowledged. Yeah, does that make me time? <laughs> uh, if, I, I don't know if there's a ticking clock here. Uh, the, the, time, the ticking clock will be generations in advance, uh, but um, I don't have a third character. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up. Yeah, you, you don't have to. I, I mean, if I, if the, you can, Dan, you can be the sword. Um, no, yeah, Dan, you can be the sword. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. So, which All right, one am, I, um, am I obsidian wall? Yeah, you're the obsidian okay. wall. Um, if I'm playing the iron, the iron shogun, can I gender flip them? You can be whoever you want. To, the, the, it's to, it's a young take in our... Yeah, it's a yeah, young. He's okay. a so he or she is a young she. They yeah they. I'll I'll rephrase it. They she 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 is out looking for sake. <laughs> she finds a device. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so she's she's wandering around the hangar, you know, poking around. Uh, she's, you know, half, uh, you know, looking looking and, and sort of like, uh, you know, awe and and impressed at what she's what she's found. But also, like, she really is just looking to get hammered uh, away from the war. Uh, and and so she's like poking around things and comes across. Um, can, can we have Obsidian Wall be like folded up initially, so we don't know that it's a giant robot? It's just mm-hmm. A thing, but but like the eyes start to glow, and it says, "In fact, it looks like a giant leg." Hmm. Okay. What are you? The leg kind of. Are you talking about this? The steam emits from the surface of it, and it splits down the center, and a head pops off one side. And the what is the foot sort of splits into two legs, and the the arms come out of the shoulder. Uh, the shoulder blades come out of what is the sort of the hip joint. Information, audible information, spoken. Repeat. Sake, do you have any? Unknown, unlikely. What are you? So the people that made you maybe have some sake. Where are we? Hangar We're in a place without any sake. Poor. It's terrible. Who are you? Hmm. Random name generator. <laughs> yeah, I'm random insert name here. <laughs> Roll. Who are you? What and why is... don't you have any Saki in this place? Designation Obsidian Wall. Saki unknown. War is purpose. Mm. That's too bad. Bong, 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 bong. But you seem pretty strong. Maybe you could help me out. What is your role? Saki search at the moment. Full time? Occupation? Oh, you better believe it's full time. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Although, 
This unit that is a nifty glowing thing war. you have Quiet. There. Is that a sword? This unit dedicated to war, not search for unusual items. Oh, well, if you want the war, it's that way, about three miles, but it's, uh, there is I wouldn't war. suggest it. It's, it's boring. War is pretty purpose. boring. Perhaps construction was, <laughs> perhaps construction team will be there. We'll search out warriors. And it just starts taking off. Ka-chunk. 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 Wait, 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 wait. You don't want to go that way. That's the wrong way. You said war is that direction. Yeah, but it's also this way. And I haven't been this way. And there could be Saki this way. So you should come with me that way. I mean, we can both find what we want. Is there war there? Sure. Yeah. There's war there. There's a, in fact, there's a war going on at this end, just a few miles up the road that has some fantastic sake that I know about, and they're under siege. It's terrible. You should definitely intervene. Searching last components. It reaches. Is that your sword over there? Well, it reaches. It looks cool. I was thinking it was like an underground locker. It opens up the, the locker. Oh, okay. Weapon will suffice. Not canon, but will suffice. Show me this war. That's war. cool. No, no, no. But tell me about the sword first. That's cool looking. Can I try it? No, but show me the war and I'll show you the sword. And what it can do. I missed my cue. Shing! <laughs> <laughs> So, so I mean, Dan, I, I mean, you can be a persona. The, the, the sword can have a personality. It can be a... <laughs> I didn't give it as a joke. The sword can have a personality. Honestly, I'm It could I'm be good. an intelligent sword. <laughs> or that! <laughs> or that! <laughs> Glint, <laughs> gleam. Um. A nifty-looking sword there. Uh, yeah, the war is just this way. Uh, just head that direction, and uh, I'll follow right behind you. All right. Good talk. Good talk. And could we say at some point in the uh, in the conflict, maybe the 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 robot uh, obsidian wall, the robot and the unbreakable sword get separated, and you make off with it? Well, yeah. What, what I was thinking is is that you know you 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 chunk a chunk a chunk, and after you get a few paces down, you know she you know quietly unsheaths her own sword, does a running leap, and like <laughs> chops your arm off at the shoulder, and then takes the sword and runs away with it. Excellent. This is gonna get me a lot of sake. <laughs> all right ryan do you want to end that to your, your scene uh yeah so the the one question i want to answer there um because I, I mean it's up to you guys i'm not sure exactly how this works is how does that you've taken the sword from the obsidian wall does the obsidian wall to the obsidian wall does the obsidian wall is this some, is that something that the obsidian wall um needs to get out like, is that something that where there's a consequence down the line for taking that sword and that's in the third age? Or is he said, well, just out there? I think it's like, just out it just, there. It's <laughs> just, just well, stopping it's around? Miss, m missing an arm and its sword and uh, with, a, with a grudge. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't too attached to the sword in the first place. Remember, it said it preferred to have a cannon. Uh, but it is definitely pissed off about losing its arm. And that causes this sort of rivalry between Obsidian Wall and the Iron Shogunate's de uh, descendants. Uh, yes. So as as far as the Iron Shogunate, uh, Kiwa Kiwa Kodu is that work as a name for the first uh, the or Kiwa the first? Sure, um, sure. Of House Kodu. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like you know you, the question asked was how the Iron Shogun come to possess a signature blade. I believe that question was answered. Mm -hmm. Anything yes. after that can be addressed. Mm -hmm. later. Well, the, I'm, the name of the Iron Shogun is the yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Um, names are always uh, good things to have in there. The soldier. Uh, I'll just put the name part of these. Kiwa um, Kodu ambushed uh, the Iron Giant. Or the, not the Iron Giant. <laughs> ambushed. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the Obsidian Wall. There you go made off with the sword leaving behind a powerful being 
uh, with a grudge against the Shogun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and I'm going to call that light because that was humorous. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Get a chance to show people. Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. Hold on. I can edit this, right? Yeah, okay. The How did the Iron Shogun possess, come to possess her signature blade? Make sure to not misgender the Iron Shogun. <laughs> Alright, that was Ryan Ron. Your turn to add something involving giant robots. Giant robots, right. Um, remind me what we have under the, um, the turtles. Uh, junction of the turtle pets. swarms of the East Coast, we have the giant Titsu Yuyunin is formed as an adversary to the Iron Shogunates. And mm -hmm. then after the raiders are defeated, their giant turtles are enslaved by the Iron Shogunate. Jeez, that sucks. Um, so I feel like Obsidian Wall maybe needs to have an appearance there. So... But I don't want to have the like giant robot versus obsidian wall. Hmm. I mean, obsidian wall is a giant robot. No, I'm sorry. The, the Shogun, the the, the Iron ah. Shogun's uh, giant robot. I, I want to save that for you know Act Three, you know, mm -hmm. so to speak, right? The, that 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 different that third period there, um, which makes sense. Maybe. Here we go. Um, mysterious group of uh, mass strangers defeats Subsidian Wall um, on behalf of the Shogunate. So we'll say Obsidian Wall was allied with the Testudo Union, um, of course. And uh, the way that he was fought off was a group of, uh, let's, say, let's say five, five is good, five masked heroes different color with masks. attitude with attitude mm -hmm. do they have attitude <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you have to decide and if this is tmnt or, social, or or, or uh, voltron okay uh so and, this i'm sorry and, this is an event Vol voltron is good too i mean it's, it's better than reaganomics um <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so an event, an under, event. The, under the great turtles it's it's, a, it's 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 an event in between uh the initial like you know raids and everything else the, the union being formed and the um the the final enslavement okay and then we'll, we'll, how would you sum it up again um obsidian wall fighting on behalf of the turtle union is defeated by five masked heroes not necessarily turtle like themselves <laughs> maybe they're sharks Maybe they're part rocks. Who knows? Let me fix my spelling. That word looks like it's spelled right. And this is light? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. It's Ron. Now it's my turn. OK. And I got that right in place. Let's see. Oh. Um. Hmm. Age of Invention. Um, under Age of Invention, I'm going to have an event. Obsidian Wall is reverse engineered. Ooh. And mass produced. Nice. Ooh. Very nice. Yes. 
Is that light or dark? Uh, that's gonna be dark. Very good. And I can just leave it at the top there. All right. And then Dan, so you are the focus. You, once again, you can touch on giant robots, and you can once again do two items instead of one, as long as they're nested. Okay. Um, oh, I get to do a scene. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna. Do a. Uh, So I'm going to say that the event, which is dark, mm -hmm. is <laughs> the turtles using the communications device to take control of the obsidian wall. You mean the, the turtles themselves? The turtle, like the turtle oh. union. <laughs> so they... They, okay. they were able to communicate with Obsidian Wall. Okay, so that explains the Alliance. They were able to communicate with him basically via radio. Hmm. Okay. So this is this is in the period of the raids? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's uh, pretty dark, mm -hmm. and um, and then I'm going to ask the question. Well, that was an event. Oh, you. Oh, right. Okay. You're making a scene. But so. I'm going to put a scene in there. Okay, no problem. And the scene is going to be. How did the how did the slow one use the obsidian wall to get revenge against the protected one? Oh, dun dun dun. So let's see. Um, do I really need to include much of a description in there? Uh, well, I mean, if you want to set the scene. Okay, I guess the scene is. Um, I mean, obviously we've got the um, the slow one. never forgave the protected one for his perceived slight mm -hmm. and sends the obsidian Wall to confront him. So one of uh, so uh, tone since you originated the role of the uh, obsidian wall. <laughs> uh, although you also originated the role of the protected one. That's why uh, they brought me back for the soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do, I'll do the wall again. Okay. All right. Um, Ryan, uh, you're going to be playing the protected one, and Ron, you are going to be playing the slow one. Can you do that? Can you dig it? I... 
don't <laughs> no. Where where are we all? Um, I'm gonna say that you are on the on the turtle of the protector. Okay. Or this is taking place on the turtle of the protector. Oh, I'll I'll edit that. Um, I'll say and sends the obsidian wall to his turtle. <laughs> To confront him. Wait. So. All right. All right. Hold on. I got. I got a question. If I'm. So 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 this is two scenes. This is me talking to the obsidian wall, and then obsidian wall going the protected one. Or this is one scene where all three of us are together. So I'm going to say that like. The obsidian wall. Um, yeah, it is like being kind of controlled like J. Jonah Jameson controls the spider slayers and stuff. So like kind of a deep cut there. So okay. Yeah, very it was like deep you cut. lost me. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I recognized all the words you said and what they referred to, but the events themselves mm. It's in English, but um yeah, it's Sorry. Yeah, man. <laughs> Okay. I know, I know you're gonna you're gonna have to pull a nerd card, yeah. but uh, I'm willing to lose okay. it. Slow one has control of the obsidian wall, sending him to fight the, uh, sending him to fight the protected one, uh, and the armies of the protected one. Basically, like, you know, treachery. Mm -hmm. Obsidian mm -hmm. wall trying to regain control from the mm -hmm. slow one. Okay, gotcha. So then, uh, okay. All so right. let's say. Uh, do you does a slow one maybe riding on the protected uh, on obsidian wall's shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> that could be it, like right. you know, like in his hand, like yes. uh, like a giant robot yeah. or a giant robo, you know. <laughs> so I'm just waiting towards the tur the uh, the giant turtle. Dum. A one arm. Dum. Dum. <laughs> Does the does the hand have a communication device on it? Yes, it has one built in. That's how people are manipulating it. Okay. Mm. Um, the protected one looks on in horror as the obsidian wall is not where his military advisor said it should be. Um, Thank you for sending your troops away today. What's the meaning of this? We, we've we've almost defeated the shogunate. We, we've we, 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 why have you done this? You killed my favorite son. That was in the past. We're, we're allies now. This is a union between both of us. That son could have wed the daughter of the Shogun and brought us peace. There would never be peace. You, you have to know that. Please, this, there's, there has to be some other way. That you... <laughs> this is the way. Kill him. Ah, uh, Shogun, uh, the uh, iron obsidian wall puts the slow one on the edge of the turtle since he only has the one hand and then grabs the edge of the turtle to lift himself up. It's a long process. It's only got one arm. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and it starts to climb to its feet. It's searching around for communications devices to smash incidentally. <laughs> Hmm. It actually doesn't go make a straight run for the protected one. It goes for his communication center first and stomps it. No! <sighs> Kill Not the him. telegraph station. Oops. <laughs> and it reaches down to pick up the protected one. I don't care for your kind. Please, please, we were... Um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and it <they're> squashed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I was hoping you're gonna make a run for the communication station. Uh, I was gonna have him like run for his ship because certainly nothing can stop the obsidian the obsidian <laughs> giant or the obsidian wall. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Unstoppable. <laughs> you did lose an arm one yeah, time, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> it didn't stop him though. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Would you like, well, of would course, you, it lost. Would you like to fill in the rest of that one? <laughs> and then Ron, now it's your turn to make a something for. Was that that was Ryan's, right? What? That no. was uh, Dan's. Well, you just crushed Ryan. No, no. Who? Yes, whose turn but, was that? But it was your scene? That was that was Dan's scene. Okay. Was Dan's scene. It's my. Oh, and that's the last one. That's the. So I, I think he has the legacy of the Obsidian Wall. I'm guessing. Is that? Uh, no, 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 I get the to, tone's choice. I get to pick oh, the, the legacy. Uh, all right. The, the, the only thing I might add to that scene, uh -huh. um, I don't know how much like pull I have on that, was that the Obsidian Wall would also say, I don't like your kind either, <laughs> and, kill the, uh, <laughs> and kill the slow one. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! Well, he's still under control, though. Bef For before... Now. He uh, he was under control before he hit the um, communications devices. Oh yeah, mm. we can do that. All right, I'm adding a I'll legacy of the Obsidian so, Wall's missing arm. Dun dun dun! Is that the six-fingered hand? I wasn't thinking that before, but now I am. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I'm going to actually add an event. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to create a scene. It's going to be underneath the period the third Shogunite defeats the Obsidian Wall with his new mech, the Unbreakable Sword. Uh, it's going to be underneath the event the Obsidian Wall kidnaps Lightning Mind's ancestor to discover weakness for the Unbreakable Sword. And it's create the scene. The question is be, how did the scientist turn Obsidian... Wall's missing arm into a weapon against the wall. Uh, so we have uh, so it's lightning mind. Let's just call him uh, Thunder Mind. Is a scientist and City and Wall is a character. Does anyone else need to be in the scene? So, Thundermine is the kidnapped ancestor? Yeah. I'm just going to make them all weather mm. related. Okay. So, this is after the kidnapping? Yes. Or before? Okay. His cousin Drizzle Mind is really frustrated by that. Oh, <laughs> wow! He's not. He's he's a, he's a smart guy, but like the good names are taken. And... <laughs> Thunder Mind and his brother Rain Mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> have been kidnapped. Oh, Ben Corner. <laughs> Gusty Mind by Obsidian Wall. In their <laughs> sleep, lab. sleep mind. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and play Obsidian Wall. Uh, who played the scientist last time? I, I was Lightning Mind the okay. last time. So why don't you go ahead and play Thunder Mind, and then Ryan, you get to play uh, Rain Mind, his brother. Okay, uh, it's not showing up. Oh, I haven't saved it yet. For me. Oh, okay. There you go. Right. How the scientist turn? Missing arm into a weapon against the wall. Thundermine and his brother Rainmine have been cornered by Obsidian Wall in their lab. Okay. 
Um, so I guess I am Thundermind. Um, Speak to me okay, uh, things so they call scientists in this age. This new robot um, is proving too much for me. I would have a weapon against it, a weakness to exploit. Deliver or die. A point of information. Um, the missing arm into a weapon against the wall or weapon against, against the himself. unbreakable sword? Yeah. No, no, against, against the wall, yeah. Okay. Actually, it could go either way. Oh, no, I said I already wrote um, weapon against the wall, so let's, we'll, we'll do that. I mean, you could change it. It's not, it's, we're all, we're all adults. Let's change we're all it to adults just and, a weapon, and let's see how, what happens. Okay, I updated it. Okay. Um, I, 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 have an, I have an idea. Distract him. I just try, how am I supposed to? Uh, 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 hi. Um. Yes, we are. We are scholars and and and, and bright yes. ones at that. Uh, I. Um. But but to to understand how we can use your, how we can defeat the robot, we have to answer some questions. As um, what is robots? Um. How does automation work? Um. And 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 so you'll have so to bear with me here. Your foolery <laughs> is not convincing. I'm not being a Jump. fool. It's, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> like like so we have to understand how going, you work. <laughs> Dan. So while this is going on, like um, I'm rooting my way through mm -hmm. a closet in the lab, and at some point I pull out the obsidian wall's missing hand mm -hmm. or missing arm, hold it like like a rocket launcher, <laughs> and, and and push the fire that makes the fist launch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. Eighties toys for the win. <laughs> I love it. And let's see, what's the uh, what's the dry cool wit action line I could uh, uh, I could end with? Um, Brother, let me give you a hand with that. <laughs> Quit hitting yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there we go. It's the line. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> All right, Thundermind discovered that the arm launches its fist like a rocket. All right, that's a light one. All right, that was me. All right, Dan, you get two more giant robot plays. Okay. Um, what do I, what else do I want to oh, say? Oh wait, wait, I take that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forget again. I got to keep track of this better. That was legacy. So mm -hmm. uh, we move from Dan. Uh, Dan's focus is Dan's no longer the lens. Ryan is the lens. And Ryan, would you define a focus, please? Uh, I would like to define. Um, debating whether to use indigenous equality or alien infiltration. Uh, what would your lizard masters want you to focus on, Ryan? <laughs> Certainly, just, 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 uh, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> You're one of them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go with indigenous equality for right now, uh, uh -huh. and that's going to be. Oh, that's that's edit. I want to edit that. I want to. How do I add a? Oh, define focus. Okay. All right. And then, yeah. All right, so now you um, have, can create a period and an event, or an event and a scene, or just one of those, or a scene. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add an I'm event. Be right back. OK. Uh, I'm going to add an event under the land is colonized by aliens, um, uh, the beleaguered, uh, the um, the Turtle Islands, um, and the turtle, the, the people of the Turtle Islands, rather, the people uh, of the Turtle Islands. And the turtles themselves uh, strike, uh, uh, strike a, a blow against the alien invaders. Um, mm. 
earning a special reprieve and their freedom and uh, and their uh, freedom and, uh, and their and their equal status among the uh, among the provinces among the prefectures. Where did that go again? That's under land is colonized by aliens. Yeah. Just saw it. Thank you. Cool. All right. Hey, do you want to put a scene inside that? Uh. Hmm. I don't think I do. I think that speaks for itself. I don't have any questions to answer that right now. All right. Um. Do I have to do two things, or can I just do the one thing? No, nope, you can just do the one. Uh. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that for right now. All right. I want to see other people come up with. What do you have to say so, about so, indigenous equality? Yeah. Um, so the, the previous one was both indigenous and turtle people together uh, striking the blow or one or the other. I'm kind of assuming that the turtle people kind of, the, when we use indigenous equality, I mean, we haven't really defined the indigenous population. Um, the true. people on the, the, so it, I, I kind of assume that people from the indigenous population, the indigenous, are, are indigenous to the Turtle Islands. At least, you know, no one else lived there before okay. them. So, I like that. All right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has uh, okay. So we have the alien invasions. Hmm. So if that took, takes place late in the game, so to speak, uh, alien invasion implies that they were not equal at some previous point. Previous it could period, be a movement right? to make them equal. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's do that then. Um, we'll have... Um, um, Yeah, an indigenous uh, group seizes control of the six-fingered uh, hand. Okay, and then where's that so going? It'll be an event. That'll be an event under the Age of Invention. It'll be after the finding of the six-fingered hand. So turtle, yeah. turtle people. Turtle people seize control of the six-fingered hand. Yeah. All right, and is that light or dark? It's light. Wait, let's see. Do we want that before or after the Unbreakable Sword sinks? Before. Okay. All right. That's Ron. Now it's my turn. Let's see. Indigenous equality. Indigenous equality. Um, And uh, we also had uh, occasional foreign traveler. Okay, so I'm going to add an event under the third Shogun defeats the new wall using his new... Me actually, I'm going to add a new period. Um, mm. uh, I spelled that completely wrong. How do you spell Elijah? E-L-I-J-A-H. E -L -I -J -A -H. Thank you. Mysterious or e uh, traveler brokers a peace between the turtle people and the current iron shogun uh, let me fix some spell misspellings while I'm thinking about what comes next oh man I didn't think about this how everyone's gonna see what how terrible I am at spelling 
Okay. Between. Okay. Elijah, mysterious foreign traveler, brokers a peace between the Turtle Peoples and the Iron Shogunate in light of the excess. Uh, uh, spirit migrations. Hmm. When, and when's this period? This is. This is a period or an event? This is a period. And it's coming right before the Age of Invention. Okay. And okay. The light. Okay. Okay. So the the Turtle People and the Iron Sh the people of the mainland uh, finally put over their reservations with each other to because there's excessive spirit populations invading both of their lands, essentially. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Dan. Muted again. Oh, for for you. Muted, there Dan. There you go. Um, oh. uh, there we go. Um, this this has to do with uh, indi er, with indigenous equality. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, All right. Um, I'm going to say that I'm going to have an event where let's see. So I'm going to have an event where the turtle people, uh, I'm going to say like a, um, I don't want to say a princess, but, um, say it, but say it anyway. Okay. Some, uh, basically <laughs> some noble woman of the turtle people and lightning mind have a child storm mind okay Ooh. all right um, oh we'll call her we'll call her the clever one um, tracks This is going to be an event where? Yes. Which period? Uh, I'm putting this under Elijah. The oh, period that okay. was created. Yeah. Alright, there it is. And I'm going to say it's a light event. Alright. So this is, okay, so this is before the hand is found in the Age of Invention. Alright. All right, Ryan, so it's back to you. You get to uh, add one or possibly two nested uh, events off your indigenous equality thing. Actually, let me let me edit that, and can I say that it's, um, can I say oh. that it's Thundermind and not uh, Lightning Mind? Sure. Okay. Or possibly even Rain Mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where Lightning Rain Mind. So, li light, so uh, Lightning Mind discovered the six finger hand is that correct uh-huh yep. right. okay so rain mind was prior to that so lightning mind so Actually, we're talking maybe about lightning mind maybe lightning mind is who was born oh, right mm. so the clever one the clever one would have married thunder mind and the, who was the scholar who, lo who located the things good point and the earth lightning mind And can we say, uh, and can we say that the ambitious young scholar is Stormmind? Sure. Uh, yep. 
this is a this is a uh, dynasty of discovery <laughs> of mad scientists. Nice. <laughs> Okay, so while Dan's typing that up, Ryan, what do you have in mind? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, indigenous equality. This is this is his second go right as lens, so this is technically yeah. the end of this mm -hmm. round, right? Okay, yeah. Um. Also, we're over two hours now, so should we wrap it up after this? Yeah. Or would yeah. everyone like to do one more round? Okay. Uh, I'm going to create a scene under the Turf People Capture's Six-Fingered six Hand. Um, how does the capture of the Six-Fingered Hand um, of the, is it the giant Six-Fingered Hand, right? The, the great mm -hmm. Six-Fingered Hand. Oh, great, yeah. Affect the balance uh, or uh, change the relationship uh, between the turtle people as vassals and the iron shogunate. Um. That's the question. Um, the uh, the scene is going to be uh, a um, a common revolutionary uh, um, No, I'm sorry. Uh, the a, a, a revolutionary um, who helped find the hand hero um, what was the name of him again? Uh, Nagushi? Yeah. Um, uh, so he, he's the revolutionary who, who led the capture of the six-fingered hand um Negotiates, uh, attends an, att uh, an intense negotiation uh, between the Imperial, uh, but newly promoted Imperial representative um, uh, and uh, the uh, installed Grand Dyn uh, the installed grand uh, dynamo. Uh, okay. Um, can you save that so we can see it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, who was the Imperial representative last time? That was uh, Ron, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, so tone. Ron, oh Tone, I'm sorry. Oh, is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Can't recall. Okay, Tone, you play the Imperial representative. Okay. Um, Ron, uh, you get to play hero. Uh, Dan, you get to play mm -hmm. uh, the newly the 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 Empire's installed Grand Dynamo, um, and uh, this this is um, this is going to change the balance of power. All, All right. right, so the installed Grand Daimyo, a.k.a. the Charming One. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll pull it at that. <laughs> Did we ever get a name for the, the representative? I could just be a representative. Okay. All right, and then where are we for this? Um, the Dynamo and the Representative are in the Dynamo's throne room. Um, 
the uh, the revolutionary is communicating with them at a communication mm. pad um, from the, uh, the six fingered hands, nice. which is bristling with uh, with armed men. Okay, so how about I'm a dip? Um, I'm the ambassador. The imperial representative. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was I was I was I was trying to link it to the previous scenes. So oh. I was thinking the, the the imperial representative who is who helped find the device oh, was promoted right. for his. Okay. Thing. Oh, okay. Now okay. he can be the ambassador. Now he can be the ambassador. Um, but he's the uh, like. It, yeah. Who wants to go first? I'll start. Your shogun has monopolized this technology for too long. It belongs to everyone, and especially to us. I believe technology belongs to whoever can hold on to it. If you and that is to us at the moment. So, what are you resentful for? You have it now. What do you want to do with it? Call off your besieging forces. Let us have it. Wait. I thought you said you had it. I'm, I'm a little confused about the whole what's going on. Who is oh, the, sorry. I'm, 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 I'm assuming that we've taken control, but that the Shogunate is not going to stand for that. So we probably sent some force to take it back, maybe negotiating uh, a stalemate or a siege on the way. Perhaps okay. we've threatened to destroy it. Okay, so you... I, which I, which I can go ahead and say, you know, if you try to take it, we're going to blow it up. No one will get it. Gotcha. Well, destroying it seems such a waste. and serves such a good purpose to us in the past. Say we let you have it. What do we get in return? Your life. You have everything else. What more do you want? I mean, everything needs to be... There's there's commerce here. Commerce? Is you there mean conquest? Well, conquest <sighs> is commerce by other means. Only for we the conquering. We will be gracious. We'll re let you retain this. But... What do we get for it? I would like the rest of the turtles. We've enslaved a number of them. Why not all of them? Certainly, you don't need turtles anymore. The turtles are a part of our history. We can't give them up. Mm. I'd rather see them dead than enslaved. Mm. Perhaps you shall. Yeah. And are, are, you, are you playing hero or are you playing the charming one? <laughs> oh, I'm playing hero. Yeah, the revolutionary. Dan, you're, that, Dan, you're the, the charming sticking. one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not charming. <laughs> I'm a revolutionary. And that's, why I'm speak <laughs> and that's why I'm speaking in clipped sentences because I'm the charming one. Ah. It's ironic. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So I've just threatened the turtles. Um, unacceptable. I mean, we can we can keep on with this war, and we can re, we can regain that six fingered hand. Or you're not presenting me with much of anything. I need something to take back. I don't even think any of you know what to do with the six-fingered hand. What is it, just a, a statue, a monument? It's power. What, what power does it it's, have? And that's all that matters for it? you people. The, well, that's true, yes. So what power is it? Let's speak. Have you oh, I'm not have telling you, you anything about power? it. I'm not I don't telling you, you know. anything about it. I know enough of how to destroy it, and that's all I need right now. 
Feel Everything free. else is a matter of time. Feel free. Let's destroy it now. It's a tedious conversation anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. Pulling Han Solo for the Empire. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'll put a button on that. Agreed. Guards! <laughs> Alright. Um, Ooh, um, alright. So it looks like this starts another war. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, <laughs> the capture of the um, hand by the rev by revolutionaries um, uh, increases tensions uh, and sets off a civil war. All right. And that is dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. So let's, uh, we're at two hours and 20 minutes an hour. So let's wrap this up. Let's go over everything, though. We, we start off with feudal heroes, superheroes, and feud, uh, sorry, superheroes in feudal Japan. I don't know if we ever actually touched much on superheroes. We had, we did Just have that once. team of five. <laughs> right, we kind of just ignored all the superheroes, didn't we? <laughs> well, we sort of. Lots. So I kind of got like. Well, Thunder Mind could not be so much. The whole Mind family are kind of super scientists. Hmm. Well, I, mean, I kind of. It kind of stopped being like. Maybe not so much like superheroes, superheroes, but there's like kind of a like big mythic, like masters of the universe oh, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, element so, to it so uh first period is the junk oh sorry i am wrong that's not the first period first period is the iron shogunate unites the land uh she did so after she drunkenly discovered the unbreakable sword <laughs> that was currently in the possession of the uh robot that was one leg of a larger robot called obsidian wall uh she also maimed obsidian wall in the process the next period was the juncture of the great turtle swarms the eastern coast so the uh the uh, various uh, turtle peoples uh, formed a union and they went to war against the shogunate. Uh, let's see. Um, and that was done through, again, the Mind family uh, acting as, uh, oh, they, they discovered lost technology, the communications technology which made it possible. Uh, the turtle union uh, used that tech communications technology to take control of the obsidian wall, um, which then also, while well, in addition to being used in the war, was used to settle a petty grievance against the protected one. <laughs> um, Obsidian Wall, while fighting uh, on the behalf of the Great Tessir Union, was defeated by five mysterious heroes that we'll never find out about. <laughs> um, after the raiders had defeated, their giant turtles were enslaved by the Iron Shogunate. Then in the next period, the third Iron Shogun defeats the Obsidi defeated Obsidian Wall by using his new mech, also named Unbreakable Sword. Uh, let's see. Um... During leading up into that fight, Obsidian Wall, perhaps getting a little more human savvy, had kidnapped uh, Lightning Mind's ancestor, but they had uh, weaponized his own fist against him and uh, used it to knock <laughs> his block off, um, which bought them some time. Uh, the next period was Elijah, a mysterious foreign traveler, brokered a peace between the Turtle Peoples and the Iron Shogunite uh, in light of the excessive spirit migrations that were happening into the land. Uh, the clever one, heiress to the Turtle Union, married Thundermind and gave birth to Lightning Mind. Then began our oh, age of invention, where Obsidian Wall was reverse engineered and mass produced. The great six figured hand was discovered and is still operative, uh, though no one really figured out how. Um, we can skip over the, that, that part. Uh, the Turtle people captured the, captured the six fingered hand, uh, which then started another war between the two groups. Um, and then we had a missing ship which had recovered inertia drive, which we never touched on again. And then finally, land was colonized by aliens who we never really talked about. Uh, yeah, assassination attempt was conducted on the current Shogun, uh, Iron Shogun, I'm assuming by the aliens. And the turtle people and the turtle themselves eventually struck a blow against the alien invaders, earning a special reprieve and the equal status among the, uh, among the, uh, the peoples there. So, yeah. See that we started with nothing. We started with complete like blank slate, or and then we got all this out of it. So I think that's pretty special. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I mean, and already I'm kind of seeing um, little connections here where the mysterious uh, vanishing of the unbreakable sword 
was brought about by the turtle, uh, mm-hmm. by the turtle union, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> somehow. Yeah, they, uh, they they send out the unbreakable sword, the new the, their new um you know, their new unbreakable sword, and it vanishes because uh, mm-hmm. this isn't going as well for the shogunate as uh, as the last. Yeah. So you see, this game can be played just like this, or sometimes it's used to sort of set up a campaign. Um, yeah. But I find it a lot of fun. Ugh. It's a good, it's a good like mental exercise. It kind of gets you out of your space, you know, your your, yeah. your own thinking. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and wrap. Does anyone have anything they want to add? Like, like to the. I, story I really wanted to add at add, add a, add a, add a final period. <laughs> <laughs> what was your, what was that going to be? It was going to be between the Age of Invention and the uh, the Alien Invasion. It was going to be an Age of Shadow, ah. um, we're following from the you know the mass production of the Obsidian Wall. You know, an Age of of Civil War and and decline. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure because like the Age of Invention kind of uh, leads into the if, if if the Age of Invention doesn't happen, the the Shogunate has or the, the our our world doesn't have. That's the reason the world can now fight the aliens who've been mm-hmm. in infiltrating. Yeah. Or the other thing is the alien infiltration can be both ways. There could be a, that Elijah could have been an alien infiltrator mm-hmm. who is trying to Ooh, yeah. broker yeah. peace between the various nations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You really got a lock on the alien invasion thinking. Well done. <laughs> Dan, play Dan, play way saying? too much Stellaris. <laughs> 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 um, so one of the things that I was like kind of setting up what actually i was setting up like kind of two things and uh that like the assassination attempt on the current shogun was actually going to be someone in the mind family mm. and the other thing that i was going to set up was the final the final iteration of the unbreakable sword was going to be basically a doomsday weapon of some sort. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> like, uh, right. what a, like a planet killer mm-hmm. type, yeah. like, you know, orbital laser, Death Star, what have you. <laughs> Ryan, you have any thoughts? I like that. I like, so, so that kind of fall, again, going back to the infiltration, that falls into the mind family. If the Shogun, if the current Iron Shogun is, it was replaced by an alien, mm-hmm. or perhaps that entire line was replaced by aliens after the first Iron Shogun, and that's why war keeps happening. Because um, <laughs> the Iron Shogun, the original Iron Shogun was just was just some drunk woman who who ascended to greatness by chance, and um, after activating a robot, which could have sent messages out to other alien species, um, every other Iron Shogun could have been replaced, continuing to, to try and uh, to try and unite the land with war. Another alien species, or perhaps somebody else. Um, is trying to assuage that by brokering peace. Um, instead, uh, the mind family, the intelligent, the the the, the native intelligence um, throughout the period learns of this dark secret war being being uh, controlled by their lands and attempts to assassinate the Iron Shogun mm-hmm. uh, to end it once and for all. Um, uh, whether or not they're successful, though, their invasion is already on uh, and. <laughs> The, the final battle for this world can commence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap this up. Uh, thanks, everyone, for, <laughs> for participating. Thanks for watching. This uh, video is released under Attribution Share Like 4.0 under Creative Commons, so you can use anything you want here, commercially or otherwise, as long as you attribute back to us. Uh, once again, thanks to our players, Ryan, Ron, Dan, and myself, and uh, have a good one. Bye. <laughs>